Can you take me to your father? I don't think he'd like that. I don't know where he is, anyway. Come with me. I've got a test I want you to take. Mia and Murray tell me you're using cheese in your stew. Real cheese. Dim old buzzards. What they know? I could take a sample of that stew you're cooking back to the lab and have it tested. Why you pick on Mama Isabella? I never do you no know harm. Where'd you get it? My sister. She got connections. Where can I find her? She back in Jamaica, man. Far away from here. She send me cheese once, maybe twice a month. You know, funny thing you asking about the cheese. Last week, this ugly little man, he run by, grab whole box of empty takeout cartons right off the counter. Police next door, they just laugh. Say the guy not be so happy when he opened them cartons. <laughs> What's that have to do with the cheese? Cheese hidden in that box, man. Keeping it safe till I cook up a new batch. So how could I tell police to bring back box? They find cheese, they shut me down. This guy who robbed you, what did he look like? Shard. Real shard. Bad clothes. Colors way too bright. Funny bow tie. Maybe you look for this ugly little TV, huh? I'm thinking you not really care about the cheese. You're right, but I still think you ought to get yourself a different secret ingredient. You bet, man. That cheese been nothing but trouble for Mama Isabella. Hey, man. You're that cat from Howie Lee's. McCoy, right? We keep bumping into each other. You want an autograph? I know you ain't heard of me yet, but Gordo Frizz's autograph's gonna be worth a pile of chinyan someday. I'll hold my breath. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Man, don't you got anything better to do than hassle innocent people at their place of work? Make it snappy, okay? I really appreciate your patience. You like cheese, Gordo? Ain't that bad, man. My jokes are fresh, real hip. No, I mean real cheese. Dairy products, you know, from Kingston Kitchen. So you're wasting shoplifters instead of replicants these days? Then an admission of guilt? But crying out loud. Can't a guy make a living in this fakakta place without being hassled? You know a girl named Lucy, Gordo? You steal that cheese for her, maybe? My man, it's showtime. Your friends are replicants, Gordo. What else would I find if I turned over the rock? Gotta go, Daddy-o! Hey, a 
Is everybody having a good time tonight? What does a marriage and a tornado have in common? First, there's a lot of sucking and blowing, and then you lose your house. You know what my first wife's nickname was? Twister. <laughs> the doctor calls up his patient. I got bad news and I got worse news. The bad news is you only got 24 hours to live. The patient says, what could be worse than that? The doctor says, I've been trying to reach you since yesterday. <laughs> Guess what happens to a reprimand? does his job really well. Early retirement, baby. I see we got a celebrity in the audience. Can I get a spot, please? That's right. It's one of the boys from the local Blade Runner unit. One of the LPD's finest, Ray McCoy. Let's give a big hand for Rep Detect McCoy. He's protecting us poor slobs, ladies and gentlemen. He even thinks you're a replicant. He can waste you right where you stand. Nice job, eh, detective? It doesn't quite work that way. Doesn't, eh? What if I pretended to be a replicant? That's just an excuse for your lousy act, Gordo. <laughs> <laughs> that snake dancer that worked here, Zora, she was a rep. And her picture's gonna be on every front page tomorrow. Too bad she'll never read it. How are you sure someone's a rep, detective? There's a test. Test? What replicant's gonna sit still for a test? If I'm trying to question someone and he runs, that's a pretty good sign. Could be a pretty good sign that you need to bathe more often. <laughs> do what you gotta do, McCoy. If you gotta shoot, that's cool. Come on, McCoy. Why don't you make me famous? Get off it. You're no replicant. How do you know? I could be a martyr for the cause, baby. Every rep I've ever seen wants to live, not die, pal. What are you, an expert? I've been around. I should haul you downtown, but that'd probably just make you happy. You're not even going to arrest me? Instead, I'm going to let you go. But here's what you're going to do. You're gonna go tell your pal Clovis that I'm looking for him. I can't guarantee that he's gonna listen to me. He's got a mind of his own, which is the mark of a true star. The kind that lights up the sky once in a generation. If Crystal Steel tracks him down, he's gonna have to light up the sky from six feet under. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs>